Hello and welcome back to another video tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you five easy math formulas to simplify Excel. Now Excel is a great spreadsheet program but a lot of people know that you can actually use it as a really nice calculator. And what I mean by that, let's say that you have a bunch of data and you want to add it together. So the first formula that we're going to be going over is how to use Excel to do basic math. So let's just plot in some numbers here. Uh, let's say that I have 15, uh, 20, let's say that all this is how many products I have sold in the week. Okay, so week one we had 15 products, week two we had 20 products, week 10 we had 10, and week uh, four we had 12. So if I add up all four weeks, so in the month, I add all these up, I can either do that but one at a time by doing this. First off, if you ever go into a formula in a cell, all you have to do is hit equal and then from that point forward whatever you add in is going to be some kind of formula. These are actually called um, statements or formulas or equations, things like that. So if I go ahead and plug in an equal sign here, I can click up here and I select a cell and you can see it populates with A3. So at this point if I hit enter you can see that that cell right here is reading what is in A3. If I click back up here in my box you can see it changes again and I can actually add in whatever math numbers I want. So for instance if I want to get a running total for all of this I can hit plus and then click the next one. So you can see it adds A3 plus A4. And if I hit enter here, you can see it has added together 15 and 20, which makes 35. So I can go in and I can keep adding all these numbers in that I want and just hit plus. And as you can see, it has uh, totaled it up to 57. Now there are other math equations that you can add in here too. There's actually a bunch of them. So you can have plus, which is to add. You can have minus, which is to subtract. You have the backslash, which is divide. And then multiply, which is the asterisk. All of these functions right here will work with that uh, formula. So if I go in here, I'm just going to add this in here so we can actually see what I'm doing. Let's see, equals, and if I put quotations in there, then it keeps the exact format. So there you go. All those are math equations. So if I click down here and I click equals again and I select this, say 15, and let's say I want to multiply that by 10. So that's going to equal 150, and there you have it. It has multiplied those two together. So that is step one, basic math. Now I did mention that you could add all these numbers together by selecting and clicking the plus button. Well the next function I'm going to show you is called the sum. And what the sum is, if you plug in equals here, and then you type sum, add your little parentheses here, or sorry, yeah, parentheses, then you can select one of these and just drag and drop all the way down. And you can see it's selecting A3 through A6, and then close your parentheses off. And if you do that, what it's going to do, it is going to give you the sum, or it's going to add all those numbers in that column together. So that is the sum function of numbers. Now let's say that you have a bunch of numbers up here that are, uh, let's say they're odd numbers. They have little decimal places in there. So let's say this is actually money instead. So day one we made $15.50. Day two we made $20.60. Let's say that we made uh, $10.03 that day. And let's just leave that one as 12. So you can see that we have a number right here of 58. If I want to round this number, all I have to do is click right back up in here. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to pull this over here so we can see it. If I say equals and then I can say round, I can see that it says round up or round down. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select round up and then I'm going to select this cell right there. So A8, I want rounded up. And then I'm going to close my parentheses off and hit enter. Oh yes, you also need to say how many digits you want it to have. So, rounding up, if I want to round up to two, it's going to stay exactly the same. So instead, I'm going to say I want 
zero decimals in it. So it's going to round up to 59. So I'm going to try the exact same thing, except this time I'm going to say round down. So I'm going to hit equals, and then I'm going to say round and select round down. And then I'm going to select the same cell that we did before, so A8. And now I need to add a comma in here to define how many decimal places I want to round. So I'm going to have zero, and that should round it down to 58. Now the next statement is you can combine all this together and create some pretty interesting stuff. And how you do that is with simple if statements. Now an if statement can get as complicated as you want it to be or it can be as simple as you want it to be. So let's say if I plug in an equal sign here, so I'm starting a calculation, and I can plug in an if statement. And what if says, as it can says right here, it checks for a condition to see if it's met and it returns a true or a false. So if I add in my parentheses right here, and I look over at this, and let's say that I want to have a target, uh, I want this to be over $50. So if I select this, I say if A8, and I want that, all my sum of everything, to be equal to or greater than 50. Then I'm going to hit a comment, and if it's true, then I'm going to have this cell, and I'm going to tell it be made $50 or more. Okay, that's fine. And what's going to happen if we want it to be false? Well, I'm going to have, we add a comma in there, and I'm going to have it say, we didn't make $50. Okay, and I'm going to have those in quotes because when it's in quotes, then it's actually going to say that. And then I'm going to close my parentheses off and I'm going to hit enter. And, oh, I have my formula wrong. What we need here, uh, Excel actually changed it for us, but the it needs to be greater than or equal to, not equal to or greater than. Okay, so that fixed it for us automatically. And as you can see, we made $50 or more. So if I change this down, and let's say that I change this to just 50 cents. Oh, we didn't make $50. And it'll change and update automatically. So these five functions, they're very simple to do in Excel. And just knowing how to do these very simple uh, little equations and formulas, they make Excel work so much easier for you. You don't have to go in and add all this stuff up. And if you want to have a running calculation right here with an if statement, you can. It's very simple to do. I really hope that these five steps have helped you. If it did, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think about the video. If you'd like to see another tutorial on something else, just let me know. Leave a comment. I always go through all the comments and I see what you all want to see. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has helped you and have a great, wonderful rest of your day.